Okay, we're almost done with all of our model classes uh, that we need. We're going to make a couple minor uh, uh, variations here so that we also have the ability to get images for our card. And we are going to uh, create this memory card uh, class. So first, let's do the memory card class. So a memory card is a card. So you can see it's often described as the is a relationship. And when you have this idea of you know, a parent class and a child class, um, <clears throat> or a subclass, sorry, a subclass down the bottom and a super class above, what happens is the, the subclass or the child class inherits everything from the parent class. So whatever is defined in the parent class is automatically part of the child class. So when I look at a memory card, a memory card automatically has a suit and a face name and can tell its color and its value. It gets that all for free. You don't have to do any coding, uh, which is a really nice reason to use this type of inheritance model. And truthfully, if you know I was only going to use this strictly for our memory card game, I might have just created this uh, memory card as one, uh, one string. But I want to be able to reuse my deck of cards and cards to play poker or to play you know the game of war or any of those types of I go fish, right? It might create other types of games. Um, so I wanted to create it in a way that was reusable. So let's look at this memory card. We'll go into our, our Java here to IntelliJ. And what I want to do is in the same area that I have all my other Java files, I'm going to right click and do new Java class. And I'm going to call this a memory card and we'll add it to GitHub. And the memory card extends the card class, right? So we're creating a customized version of this card class here. So here we're gonna say it extends card. And as soon as you do that, the program's gonna to start to complain because if you have a card object, you have to have the constructor for the card object, which we don't currently have. So what I'm going to do in our memory card here is I'm going to define our extra variable. It's type Boolean called matched. And I did alt insert on a Windows machine. Uh, again, on a Mac, you would uh, going to command click or right click, and you'll use whatever that shortcut is uh, down there for generate. And I'll say constructor. And you see, it's expecting us to pass in a face name, um, a suit, and whether or not it's already matched, which uh, I'm not going to actually do. I'm going to, I think I'll just set it up to take face name. And initially, the matched status will always be false, right? Because when the game starts, a card can't be matched. Only once people flip it over can we match them. So now that we've got that, you can see it calls the super class constructor. So it automatically goes to the card class because it says it extends card with the suit and face name. So it takes care of building the card object for us. So that's our constructor. And then our get and set methods, because it's a Boolean, if I do alt insert, getters and setters, it's pretty neat because it, it's Boolean, it returns true or false. So instead of saying get matched, it actually says is matched. So in an if statement, you can say if you know you know memory card is matched, it automatically will uh, just return true or false. It's pretty pretty slick. <clears throat> and then the other thing we need to uh, think about is how to uh, tell if two cards are the same object uh, in this design. We depends on how we implement the memory game, but. Uh, in this design, I wanted a way to compare memory cards. So if they have the same face name and they have the same suit, then they're the same card. So we'll uh, do a little job doc here. This method OK, 
Okay, so our return type will be boolean, and this will be uh, called is same card. So we can just put something here that evaluates to be true or false. So the first thing I'll say is, you know, this dot uh, get suit equals other card suit. So if the suits are the same, right? So they're both hearts, they're both spades. And the other thing we need to compare is the value or the face name. So I'm going to say this dot get face name equals the other card face name. So if both those things are true, this whole thing evaluates to be true, and it'll return true. If either of those return false, then the whole thing will evaluate to be false, and it'll return false. So that's all we needed for the memory card. Nice and easy, isn't it? We get the rest of it for free.